representing the state with Derek Gardner and Ashley Holt with your local weather. Hello, I'm Derek, and I hope you're having a great day. How are your classes going, Ashton? You're going very well. How about yours? I'm just sliding through them, trying to do my best this semester. That's good. Well, many students may not realize Chattanooga State offers study abroad. Chattanooga State's study abroad program has trips planned this summer to Brazil, England, France, and Greece, to name a few. Traveling to another country as a part of the study abroad trip allows you to build relationships with your classmates and teachers as you learn experiences through another country's culture together. Taking a class in a different country allows you to see the world through uh, another lens, studying abroad. Demonstrate skills employees are looking for in the workforce, like problem solving, communication, and cultural awareness. There are funds available at Chat State to help cover costs. For more information, visit chatstate.edu slash study hyphen abroad. That looks interesting. So Ashton, how's the weather looking out there? It's a beautiful day today as we take a look at the Chickamauga Dam. Uh, it's a beautiful day, lots of blue skies, and there's just not much to really talk about as far as that's concerned. Let's go ahead and look at the graphics. Um, right now, this is earlier this morning at uh, the Chattanooga Airport. 32 degrees was reported with foggy conditions with a quarter mile of visibility. So it was a foggy morning this morning. As we look at uh, local observations, 32 Chattanooga, 32 also in, in Dalton, 31 in Lafayette, as well as Fort Payne. Further north in Dayton, 28, as well as Cleveland, 37, 32 in Athens. So it was a cold morning, and as far as fog is concerned, we again, quarter mile visibility in Chattanooga, Dayton, uh, fairly well in Cleveland and Athens, half mile visibility in Lafayette, and about a mile visibility in Scottsboro, but just south of there towards uh, Rome, Somerville, and Fort Payne, we had 10 mile visibility. So, uh, you know, some people had some issues this morning, but all is well now. High pressure over us right now. We're giving us some nice weather. Low pressure off to the west. That's going to move its way here, giving us some rain tonight. Now, as this moves off to the east, it's going to bring some snow off to the north. We have a winter storm warning in effect west of here, not here, but west of here. Uh, towards the mid south into the into the plains that's going to bring us some bring them some good snow south of the low south of that same low I just told you uh, it's going to give some uh, showers and storms to the Gulf Coast uh, but that's just going to give some passage showers and that's what that is uh, that's what I'm talking about here's what this where the snow is right now just uh, west of Oklahoma Dallas and down to Shreveport down to Louisiana almost oh, New Orleans uh, there's some showers and storms again it's going to move its way here but nothing too serious this tan is a wind advisor all for Tennessee, Alabama, most of Georgia and Mississippi. Uh, their winds could be uh, around 15 to 20 of with gusts probably over 35 miles an hour into tomorrow. Uh, so just be careful when driving and if you have any, do any fishing, just beware of maybe some choppy waters as well. Uh, and that goes into, goes into effect through tomorrow, um, tomorrow evening at seven, seven in the evening. So for today, uh, we'll see a sunny with high 53 with five, 10 mile an hour winds, not too bad tonight. The winds are really going to pick up and you're going to hear it. It's going to be howling. Uh, 15 and 20 mile an hour wind gusts. Uh, low chance of rain, but 47 for our overnight low. For tomorrow, we'll see uh, clouds start to thin out with a high 58, but I'm telling you, you're going to notice that wind. You're going to see uh, 20 to 25 mile an hour wind gusts. Now, although there's a high 58 for tomorrow, there's going to be a wind chill, so be aware of that. Uh, Wednesday night, 43, clear and breezy. The winds will subside just a little bit, but not by too much. 10 to 15 mile an hour winds. For the, for the weekend, again, 54 for Friday and Saturday, uh, clouds will start to increase, 28 for the low for Friday, and for Sunday, we'll see some rain start to move in, and a low chance for that, of 40%, 47 for the low, 37, or 5 and 37 for the low, 40, 34 for the low. Uh, as we look at the seven day, uh, sunshine, again, will stick with us through Friday, clouds will increase for Saturday, highs will be in the mid 50s, and then a cold front will move through for Sunday. Again, showers will move through. Now, by Sunday night, it's going to move out, but clouds will still stick with us. Highs, for that reason, will uh, be in the mid-40s. And now, after Tuesday, I was looking at some long-range weather charts. We could be probably seeing uh, temperatures for daytime highs after this week, possibly reaching the 60s. So that will be something to look forward to. After the way the water continues to set records, Rick Domingela tells about his latest fathom marker in the Hollywood Minute. All things. It's certainly connected moviegoers. Disney has announced Avatar The Way of Water has surpassed the $2 billion mark at the worldwide box office. Combined with the original Avatar and Titanic, this makes James Cameron the only director to helm three movies in the $2 billion club. This is our backyard, and this is where we go when we want to come to the back of the house. 
Diane Keaton's latest film, Maybe I Do, arrives in theaters this week. Keaton herself has been in theaters as well. I've been going to the theaters to watch movies recently. I love it. I just love going into the theater and watching it. I do. A film. It's fun. It's engaging. It's gonna be you. Dolly Parton is joined by the all-star team of Belinda Carlisle, Cindy Lauper, Gloria Estefan, and Debbie Harry for the song Gonna Be You. The track was written by Diane Warren for the upcoming movie 80 for Brady. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. Let's talk about it. So, have you seen Avatar? I have. How about you? I have. It's an amazing movie. I'd say it's definitely worth the wait. Um, it's long, but it's really well. Yeah. That, definitely, if you have time, be sure to watch that. So... Uh, it's about like a three-hour movie, so yeah, that's long. Yeah, be, yeah, have time to do that, but yeah. Well, that's it. It's that it, it, chat space. Have a great day. Scene one, Apple take. Scene one, Apple take two.